I'm more for Alex now and forever because that memorial is going to be a history that can never be erased. We're going to have field trips up there. They're going to learn true, authentic education of how the community rose against corruption and injustice man right so this is it it's art it's love it's music it's poetry all of it combined together right. man right spirit on. spirit matters most right, right on brother. all right right on yeah. what's, what's tonight what's yeah. tonight tonight man? tonight is the third year anniversary of his right on, unfortunate right. killing man right. and you know instead of uh, it being a tragedy, it was a transformation. It was an opportunity for us to come together. And so tonight, we are going to be displaying that uh, uh, with the singers, with the poets, with the artists that are going to be explaining the mural concept. Tonight. Tonight. All right? All right! You, man. Yeah, we're doing it, man. Roberto, what's, so, what's this event about and why are you here? I'm here to support the Alex Nieto family because of the injustice of the murder by the San Francisco Police Department of Alex being shot 56 times up on Bernal Hill. That is murder. And they got away with murder. The district attorney failed to prosecute him. The city attorney failed to prosecute him. The mayor of San Francisco failed to do anything. The police commission failed. The police chief failed. The Office of Citizens Complaint failed. All the government agencies that we pay from our hard-earned tax dollars failed to provide any kind of justice for Alex Nieto's family. And the worst part about it is that the community asked for a little bench in memory of him on top of Bernal Heights and we have to raise funds for that. That is like an insult to me. Um, honestly, I, I'd rather not be here because mm. I don't believe that we should be having to raise money for a memorial bench for him. That's something that's owed by the city of San Francisco to the mother and the father of Alex Nieto. But in the good heart spirit, I'm here. But I'm here in protest. I'm here out of love for his mother and father and for Alex, because I knew Alex was a good young brother from our barrio. Uh, did a lot of good. And was getting his education. Was going to be a probation officer one day. And it's an insult. It's an insult that that they're, we're having to raise money for this bench. You know, um, when you look at uh, the Bill Graham Civic Auditorium, they name a entire auditorium after Bill Graham, who is was a concert promoter. When you look at 
they named the bridge after Willie Brown. And if you look at Moscone Center, they named it after George Moscone, the former mayor who got killed by a former police officer. They should uh, rename the whole Bernal Heights Hill and call it the Alex Nieto Hill. Here, here. That's what they should have done. Yes. But here we're got a little bench and we had to go through this whole ordeal just to get the city to approve a bench for Alex Nieto. I'm out with that. I'm here for a memorial for my homie Alex Nieto. And this is a, a concert to uh, raise funds to uh, memorialize his life in the spot where he took his last breath. It's going to be educational for children and our families to remember a fallen warrior of our people. So I would say in honor of a good man, leader, and somebody who's going to be inspirational and his legend will live on. For many decades. For many decades. Many decades. Man. Right on. All right. Thank you, brothers. Yeah. Well, if you find the coming together of a community, the support of a family, the support of, uh, of other youth, that uh, and raising of consciousness, and raising of money that in for the community, bringing the community together at all levels. Well, you know, uh, you and I have been over over a lot of rallies, and you know we've seen a lot of stuff. Huh? So I'm glad to see, uh, quite frankly, the youth and the young people uh, coming together for something that's very important. Uh, the issues are still the same, are similar that we had in the 70s, 80s, and so forth. So ahora es batalla con ellos que tienen a organizar. Qué bonito que están organizando esto. Y a mí me da mucho esperanza. And I'm glad you're here to support that too with your camera and your spirit. I'm here because of how wrongly SFPD did uh, Alex Hill on the day he got killed by them uh, about five years ago. Um, and the most important thing about this event is just to keep spreading the, uh, the word about Alex Hill and how wrong the SFPD did it. Amor por Alex. Doing our part to remember Alex and they created a memorial for him just so we don't forget. You know, right on. Yeah, we don't forget what happens to our people here in uh, in their homes. You know. So, All right. Gotta remember. Them. And also uh, animate the organizing, verdad? <laughs> Wonderful to see the young folks, uh, elderly, the families coming together. That's so true. To make a difference, not leave it as just a little piece of history. But yeah, yeah, make yeah. It real for the coming days, future. Yeah, this love uh, is contagious. You know, it's community. It's all community. Man. That's what it is. All right. Gracias, Ray. I said, I love you guys. I love you Thanks guys. Thanks for your work. I'm here at the invitation of Ben Boxiera. Yes. Uh, the organizer of this beautiful event here in the heart of the Mission District and to support uh, not just this particular event, but the whole movement for peace in our communities, for justice in our communities, for housing and health in our communities, and in many ways, uh, the issue of Alex Nieto exemplifies so many of those in one instant. So I think it's very important that the artists and the poets mm. and the musicians be here in support of them. Alejandro Nieto, Bernal Hill, Police Brutality, Police Brutality, but community comes together to heal those wounds and to struggle to make our community safe from those types of attack, unnecessary violence towards our youth. Four directions. We send love, compassion, and understanding to the four sacred directions where there is strife. We send our prayers 
to all our brothers and sisters in the streets, to all our brothers and sisters sick, we send love, compassion, and understanding to Refugio Nieto and Elvira Nieto. I want to thank my brother Ben Bach for giving me this opportunity. It is really a privilege for me to be here as a member of the community to make one thing very clear. Aquí estamos y no nos vamos. On March 21st, 2014, 7.18 p.m., three years ago, Alex Nieto, an innocent man, our brown brother, was killed brutally by the San Francisco Police Department, shot at 59 times. When he was alive, we used to greet each other like this. What's up with the movement, bro? And Alex, he would smile. Such a beautiful, sly, Alex Nieto smile. That man was joy. That man was love. And how would we know, Alex Nieto, that three years later, you are the movement. Alex Nieto's beautiful spirit and his innocence moved us, united us. The Nietos are our movement. Let's give it up to the Nietos right now. Campaign. 
for the Alex Nieto Memorial, an international level quality monument that represents really who we are. All right, so I thank you all for joining us tonight. I thank you for your love. Love is our movement. All right? <laughs> love has united us here together tonight and for the last years, for the last three years, we've just been building building, uniting together. If you go outside in the lobby, you will see that Carnaval, May Day, Homie, Amor for Alex Nieto, uh, uh, City College of San Francisco, we have all built together in honor of Alex Nieto and other movements that Alex would have supported, okay? So tonight, I'm gonna start by inviting you to take part in a beautiful song, all right? It is based on the United Farm Workers Anthem called De Colores, all right? Most of you know that jam. You've been singing it since you were little kids, right? We have transformed that song to Amor for Alex and Francisco Herrera. He's going to come up right now. He's going to bless us with this song. You all have lyrics of this song that have been passed around, okay? If you didn't get one of those lyrics, get together with one of your neighbors and sing along while we give Francisco a very warm welcome. Please, Francisco, come on up. All right. Miguel Govea, please give it up for Miguel Govea, teaching us, accompanying us, and also Bay, our sister over here, Susana Cortez. Happy oh. Dr. Lopez, this is Dr. <laughs> <laughs> but it's an honor to copy Dr. Lopez. Entonces, uh, sobre, you guys got it, verdad? Oh, yeah. Y arranque. Arranque, arranque la cuestión. You usually have heard this song like a waltz. Ba, ba, ba. But this is going to be a polka. Ready? Oh 
Okay, so it's an evening of puro amor, but before we get to any of the arts, we're going to get a little bit of a beautiful lecture. Josue Rojas is the designer of the Alex Nieto Memorial. And if you can, put it back up on the screen, please. Okay, and so he has created this design, all right? We have brainstormed together. Uh, Josue Rojas is the new director of El Tecolote Newspaper and Acción Latina. So let's give it up to Jose. He's an acclaimed artist. I'm going to give it up to him right now. Thank you, Jose. 
everybody that it's really an honor to be up here uh, and to share with you where we're at right now with the, with the design of the memorial. Uh, first, I'll tell you a quick story. Uh, the, the, the poster image that you've seen uh, is of Alex with the, uh, with the with the sort of the four directions in his face. Uh, that was an art show that I did at Acción Latina, and uh, the name of that, the title of that piece is Perfect Lotus. And the reason why that, that piece is entitled The Perfect Lotus, Amor for Alex, is because it really kind of uh, is a tribute to his path that he was, that he is on, that he's still on to become that perfect lotus, which he now is. Uh, so that is the, the image of, uh, of that, that's why that uh, lotus is, 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 is prominent, right, uh, in, in the image. So, um, that is actually how we came to meet the, the Nieto family. Uh, when we put that, that, that art show up, I was like, man, I really hope that they like it. We don't, man. We're really, really in trouble, you know? But they came, they came, and then not only did they like it, they loved it, and uh, it started off a really great relationship and a friendship. So, mucho amor, gracias por, por el honor de estar aquí sirviendo uh, con la arte que tenemos. Uh, so, the, the, the concept is essentially, um, the, the Nieto family really wanted, and they've been really vocal, and it's been, they've been the drivers uh, of this creative process the entire time. Uh, and they've had complete veto power, and they've had complete uh, creative power. Um, so essentially, they really wanted a, a, a bronze plaque that told the story of Alex, that gave uh, the important dates. And then, um, so where you see the very top of that, the, the plaque will live at the very top of that. We've got graphics uh, that will share that they'll be part of, uh, of the campaign that you'll be able to see. Uh, and then, so this, is, this the, there's a, there, that's a pedestal that you see that's holding, that would be holding up the, the, the bronze uh, plaque. Um, and it would have, actually this is a little bit, um, it's a little bit different in the design here. The front, this would be the front that, well, okay. <laughs> Essentially, this is uh, the exact same spot where Alex had his, uh, his, his final meal when he was having uh, that, the burrito. And essentially, we, wanted, we thought that that would be the ideal place. Firstly, it's the most beautiful spot on the entire hill. So we really wanted to commemorate that and ask people to take the walk down um, to the, uh, sort of his final resting place. So uh, the... The pedestal here is being held by, uh, sorry, the, the plaque is being held here by this pedestal. And the idea is that there are tiles. So the images that we see are, are, are colorful tiles uh, of his face, and on the other side there will be the four directions. And since we really felt it was important to bring the, the energia and the amor of the mission into Vernal Hill, which, you know, to many people it's one and, and the same, do uh, you guys know the, uh, on the 24th Street Bar and the 16th Street Bar, there are those red and blue tiles? when you look down on the ground. So we wanted to have the pedestal to sort of, uh, this, this memorial to live uh, on sort of a circle that is an Olin. You guys know an Olin? The idea of, uh, of, uh, of movimiento. So it would live around poured concrete and we would have um, masons come and work and provide the, the, uh, the mission tiles, as it were, in a circle around that pedestal, with, and it would live inside of an olin so that you know people could come and have ceremonia, people could come and bring flowers, people could come and, and adorn it um, and, and be participators in that. So what I wanted to say is just that, um, you know, uh, as we sort of really strive for justice, uh, Ate and art, uh, our creative voices is the moment where sometimes justice is imagined and then can catch up. Uh, so it's going to really require a village to make this happen. Uh, we're going to need a lot of, like, it, it, it's been designed uh, in a way that is capacious. There's enough space for people's participation. We need uh, you know, someone who's going to work with bronze, uh, someone who knows laser cutters, we need people who know mural and tile work and masons to do the, the, the concrete work. So I really urge you all uh, to put in you know, your amor, put in your energy, your arte, uh, your resources to this, because this is, like Brother Benjamin was saying, this is going to be a world-class monument uh, and a real testament to the resilience of this community. So I urge you all to participate. And um, you know, I would say stay tuned. You know, there's a lot more, so. I'll keep it short, I'll leave it there. Uh, but just so much, so much love, and thank you for this opportunity. My name is Antonio Tiro.
All right? And before he comes up, I want to say a little bit about this brave spirit warrior. He is the man who actually saw Alex Nieto get killed by the police. He testified in court that he saw Alex Nieto with his hands in his pockets casually walking down the hill when the police, for no reason, accosted him and started blasting at him 59 times. Although his testimony was critiqued, the physical evidence does not lie. Alex Nieto's wrist bone was found in his jacket pocket, just like Antonio Theodore testified to in court. And what does that prove? Antonio was right, and the police lied that Alex Nieto always had his hands out and that had been, he had been pointing a taser at them. Alex, I'm sorry, Antonio Theodore, it is my pleasure to invite him up here. He happens to be a musician with a group called Acrolicious, and he is going to bless us with an original song dedicated to Alex Nieto. Gracias. Let's give it up for Antonio. singing his song. Volunteers will be coming by the roads. And like, like at La Iglesia, we're going to be passing around boxes for your donations. Okay? Whatever you have in your heart, whatever you have in your pockets, please put it inside of that box. Okay? Gracias. Gracias. I'd like to say a special good evening to each and every one of you for coming out here and sharing your love and energy for this amazing moment. Um, I never would wear a t-shirt with a face on it. With a man's face. <laughs> but I feel it's an honor to wear this t-shirt tonight. <laughs> Sorry, you had to go. I wish you would have stick around some more. Sorry, you had to go away. I would have liked to meet you in the park one day. I think maybe we would have been good friends. Amor for Alex Nato. Amor. Amor. Visions of days that I had before. How long was I wait till I live them once more? From my eyes behold. Oh, I can't ignore. These are the days of warring and rumors of war. Rumors of war We have to make a way in this time Say we gotta read between the lines Stay away from the war and crime And you will be blessed But realistically we are truly blind Thinking everything is fine Praise God and live and all will manifest Shine I all that glitters not gold don't gain the world and lose your soul. Shine, I want all what you see. Don't base your life living for vanity. Yeah. These are the days, yeah. days of your lives. Visions of days that I had before. How long must I wait till I live them once more? From my eyes see hope. Oh, I can't ignore these are the days of warring and rumors of war. Yeah. Rumors of war. Rightfully, everything is our own. Selfishness we don't condone. Say your father sitting on the throne. All his is yours. If your desires to really earn. Better make it your own concern. Set forth your goals and pursue with all costs. Success won't come easy try. Won't reach your heart if you hang them too high. Success we got to achieve. Move to the wheel and I'm sure you'll receive. The system. 
system is just a material game. How I love to see the village raising the children in the communities. We need these days of more. Come on, I'll bring back those days. Let's go. Whoa. Visions of days that I had before. How long must I wait till I live them once more? Yeah. A more chronic state The thing is, is that I want to say a little bit about Sandra before she comes up here. And that is this. She is a straight up New Yorkian San Fran Misionera. All right? You know, she got it all right there, all right? She is an award winning poet, published in many journals, magazines, and she has traveled throughout the United States, Puerto Rico, Cuba, Europe, doing her art, poesia. All right, let's give it up for Sandra Garcia Rivera. Much love to La Familia, much love for Alex Nieto. I am uh, humbled and honored to be here. Um, like Ben said, um, I'm not from the mission, right? But the mission adopted me sometime in the 90s, uh, particularly Mission Girls. And once a mission girl, always a mission girl. And I'm super grateful because it has shaped me to be the woman that I am today. And though I did not know Alex personally, um, I was born and raised in the streets of New York City. Uh, we've lost many along the way as well. And unfortunately, this is an experience that I can relate to. Mira, just put them on. Okay. But I, I warn you, this poem is still writing itself. Mira, te voy a enseñar las páginas, como son. Yeah. Okay, mira, números, palabras, diagrams. I'm still trying to figure out how this works. But I will share that it is from the heart. And, um, and it is actually, uh, so far, um, it was inspired by something that Ben said or Ben wrote, it's more like it. I got a lot of respect for Ben as a poet and as a writer. And on the Facebook invite, he said, um, love is the movement, and it can only happen with all of us united here. And that moved me, and I decided that with that frame, and with some of the things that he had started to write in that Facebook page, I was just gonna start running with it. So that's what this is, okay? The best I can do, here we go. 59 reasons why love is the movement. Because the movement is oxygen and ocean, salt and sea. Where's number two? Okay, because the movement is oxygen, ocean, salt, and sea, because the movement is children playing in the street, families eating around the same table without TV, because affordable housing is the movement, immigrant-owned bodegas are the movement, teen sports for teens, Friday night rides with familia, with homies, drama-free, 
because Alex Nieto is the movement, because Amadou Diallo is the movement, because Sandra Bland is the movement, because Mario Woods is the movement, because Eleanor Bumpers is the movement, because Sean Bell is the movement. The movement is fueled by ancestors who died crossing the Atlantic in chains, who died crossing deserts to be reunited with kin. The government is not documenting this movement. The movement is our own stories in print, read by our children in free public schools. The movement is trying to get a book published. The movement is a day job and cashing a check. The movement is all our ancestors. The movement is we. The movement will not be locked down. The movement is free. The movement is gravity. The movement is in the classroom and the little girl who raises her hand. The movement raises her hand into a clenched fist. The movement is the little girl who knows to resist. Because the movement is trombones. Because the movement is congas y bongoses, barriles y panderos. Because guiros y checkeres, maracas y tamboras are the movement. Because paintbrush and charcoal, aerosol and ink. Because art is the movement. Teatro Campesino is the movement. Puerto Rican traveling theater is the movement. Poetry is the movement. And words are the movement when they are followed by acts of resistance. Because the movement is huelga and boycotts. Because solidarity is the movement. Políticos are not the movement. The Pueblo Unido is the movement. Dialogue and tolerance are the movement, though they are not the only answers. The movement is finding solutions without calling the cops. The movement is safe public parks making love after dark. The movement is raunchy backseat loving and loving yourself enough to use a condom. Because we make love from the scraps we have been given. Because we make a rope con andule and tostones. Because the movement is nacatamales. Because the movement is pan con chumpe. Because justice is the movement. Because sobriety is the movement. Because the movement does not live at the bottom of a bottle of Bacardi. Cigarettes are not the movement. The movement is tobacco and prayer ties. The movement is not processed or refined. It is raw and brown and it is unsweetened cacao. Laughter is medicine and so is sage and so is our movement. Healthy hearts are the movement. Fresh vegetables are the movement. Chicharron is not the movement. <laughs> Clog arteries and cholesterol block access to full hearts. The full moon is the movement. The movement is the tide. The dark side we carry on the inside. The movement is a hybrid. It is H2O. It is CO2. Pipelines are not the movement. The movement is water. The movement is life. The movement is our sun. The movement is our suns and how we keep them balanced in their orbits. The movement is our daughters reminding them they are diosas on an earthly path. The movement is breaking cycles of self-hate and self-destruction because decolonization is the movement. Abuelas and abuelos are the movement. Moms and dads are the movement. Tias and tios, primas and primos, homegirls and homeboys, big bros and little sisters, big sisters and little brothers are the movement because Borders like bullets are made to divide and destroy. Metal jackets and straight jackets are death to the soul. Because pavement is not strong enough to keep us down and our blood will fertilize like seeds. Because we are the survivors. We are the movement. Because we are stars and souls united are almighty. Because love is the foundation. Love is the building blocks. Because love, love, our movement is made of love. Gracias. will follow right now. My mentor, San Francisco Poet Laureates, Alejandro Murguia, San Francisco State University professor. He's also an award-winning author, 
published poet is here tonight to give us some of his love. Alejandro Munguia, por favor. Thank you, Ben, for putting together this uh, very memorable and uh, beautiful event and for all the good work that you've done for so many years in our community. And I want to thank all of you also for uh, being a part of this because as several poets have already, and artists have mentioned, that it's going to take our entire community to save our community. And I think that the writers, the poets, the artists, the muralists, the musicians, the dancers, uh, I'll have a part in it. And so I am very pleased to be able to be a part of that tonight. <clears throat> you know, we're living in kind of strange times where uh, the police, instead of perhaps catching criminals, are criminals themselves. And it's not that the community has made an enemy of the police, but I believe that sometimes the police has made an enemy of the community. And it's important for all of us to acknowledge that we all have a uh, human right to peace and justice. And the case of Alex Nieto, it resonates, I think, it just not, it's more than just the police violence. It's also an aspect of the gentrification, the arsons, the displacement, the health disparities, the fact that so many of the young people are living in homeless conditions. So uh, Alex Nieto's uh, incident and his death and his assassination I think resonates on um, many, many, many ways. <clears throat> and um, I also want to say that it's very nice to be able to gather on this side of Valencia Street. <laughs> <laughs> you know, on the other side of Valencia Street, they, they might call them hipsters, but on this side of Valencia Street, they're called lamesters. <laughs> Well, that's what my abuelita calls them. <laughs> so I want to share uh, a new poem uh, with you tonight. <clears throat> Part of what's going on when I travel across the city and I see at this side everything run down, the roads have more potholes than the streets of Tegucigalpa. And then on the other side, everything's perfectly paved and then I realized that I'm living in Silicon City. Well, they evicted Mia from her storefront on Valencia. Then they burned down the apartments on 22nd Street. The good die young, and isn't it a pity? But the beat goes on in Silicon City. You're a stranger now in your hometown with strange faces on once familiar streets and strange shadows at four o'clock and cops, strangers on a strange beat. And the days and nights are mostly gritty, but hey, it's okay. You're hanging in Silicon City. Now, I've been told that everything that rises must fall and that the wicked shall be denied. But nowadays, you don't know who to trust, and watch out, you don't get run over by a Google bus. <laughs> it bees that way, all down and dirty, in the heartless heart of Silicon City. Now, everybody knows the center cannot Old. But prophecy is cheap, and politicians are sneaky. So, baby, get your high heel sneakers and your black beret on, because tonight we fight the powers in Silicon City. <laughs> Alex Gepo, Presente. Now 
Now we transition to theater. All right, theater and music. I'm going to invite Paul Flores up here. He is, yes, we already know, right? He is the director, the writer of the play On the Hill. I am Alex Nieto, which has run all over now, right? You see Santa Cruz, Oakland, here in La Mission, and they're going to be traveling worldwide, baby, worldwide, okay? Alex Nieto, an international movement, Paul Flores, an award-winning uh, author, a playwright, a poet, a spoken word artist, my homeboy. Let's give it up for Paul. We gotta get a little things uh, situated here. How you doing tonight? Oh, it doesn't sound super excited. How about a round of applause for Ben Boxiano for putting this together? That's cool. So, uh, as Ben said, uh, we have been moving this play on the hill around. Who was here when we premiered it October 27, 20, 29, 30 here? Sold out four nights. 1,600 people came to see this show, um, and then we had several representatives from city council come, and they were amazed that people cared this much about what happened to Alex Nieto, to the point where um, we started harassing those city council members about getting this memorial um, up and approved, and to the point where we had our own cast members testify to why it's important. So not only did this play impact the young and the old and the um, community, it also actually moved policy. So can we give a round of applause for art moving policy? are involved in changing laws uh, and that was our whole intention from the beginning um, as Ben wrote there aren't any other memorials that um, acknowledge victims of police violence in California there are none this will be the first you guys should give up for that that's huge and um, we built this play with local bloco can we give local bloco a round of applause house here at Brava, and so can we give Brava Theater a round of applause too? Our community space, where we bring our stories here from our neighborhood, and we put them on display in front of so many people. Um, I wanted to say a few things. I uh, definitely want to acknowledge uh, Pedro Gomez, who's the artistic director of Local Global. Here with that. I want to acknowledge Angela, who's also our uh, co-musical director here. Um, this amazing cast of young people, uh, all of them, when they started this project were, you know, in, uh, some of them were in high school, uh, college, um, all the young folks, you know, um, and now we're touring this play. Uh, it's, it's amazing that, that we, you know, started right here at Brava. Uh, we went to Santa Cruz last week. Um, uh, next, uh, next month we'll be at Delta College in Stockton. Uh, telling this story because Stockton goes through this very similar things. A lot of um, police violence happening in Stockton. A lot of gentrification starting to move east. You know what I'm saying? Um, so they're wondering, well, how does this relate to us? What we're going through? Uh, same things. We're going to be doing it at. Um, we did it at Lady College uh, about two months ago, about a month ago, um, and then we're going to do it at USF uh, because several of our students are from USF here, um, and so so we are getting a lot of interest in the play. Uh, but one of the reasons they're interested in it is see like. Is this a way for young people to join the movement? And yeah, it is. We can use theater to inspire the movement to grow. That's what we want to do. Um, so what we're going to do right now is do two scenes uh, from, from On the Hill. Uh, if you want to know more about On the Hill, please look at Local Bloco's website. Um, they'll let you know when we're uh, put up on the mailing list. 
that it'll show you when we're going to be showing. Um, but look out for us April 21st uh, at, in Stockton and, and April 27th at USF. We'll be doing the production there. Both shows are free, uh, so you should you know, check that out, see us later. The first scene we're going to do um, is a group poem uh, with, with a song. Um, some of you may have seen the production. Some things have changed. Uh, we've added more music, uh, more dance. Um, today we're just going to be doing a couple songs and poems, then we'll do one scene. Um, and that scene is uh, what happens right after the trial, uh, the civil right, the civil trial against the police that the Nietos um, brought against uh, the, the city of San Francisco, the reaction that that causes. Um, I also want to acknowledge Antonio Theodore, who was an advisor on the song that we're going to do. Alex, you were a good friend. Uh, so give her an applause for Antonio. Um, it's been beautiful. The nietos have been part of this project from the beginning. Um, they sat with the whole cast and told us stories. Um, this piece was made, developed based on community participation from the very beginning. Um, we interviewed folks, and Ben was part of it. Wakateo was part of it. So many people were a part of developing this piece. Um, literally, it's a community-based piece, so we want to acknowledge their, their participation. Um, people cry in this piece, but don't cry. Be happy and, and, be, and be strong, okay? We got more work to do, right? Can you give Alex Nip? Yeah! Let's give a round of applause for the cast of On the Hill.
your mission, all right? Because we're a little bit behind, but that's all good. We're about to be blessed by United Rhythm, the Carnaval dancers. But before I hand over the MC to the mayor of La Mission, Roberto Hernandez, I want to remind you all that outside in the lobby, before you leave, get this beautiful poster, okay? It is a limited edition poster. It has Alex's image created by Josue Rojas and calligraphy, homeboy, pinto style created by homie. Woo! So check this out. Woo Buy it before you leave. $10, all right? All proceeds benefit the memorial. Also, you can get the Amor for Alex Nieto t-shirt, okay? Now and forever. 20 bucks, we have your size. When you leave tonight, stop by the booth, right outside in the lobby, and purchase these things so that we can make this memorial a reality. All right? Gracias, everyone. Now, I'm about to hand over the MC to our mayor, Roberto Hernandez. This man, he has worked with Cesar Chavez, all right, born and raised here in La Mision, the OG of the OGs, veterano of los más veteranos, my homeboy, Roberto Hernandez. You know, uh, after Alex uh, got killed the next day, Ben came to mi casa, and uh, we had a long conversation that whole afternoon. And um, I told Ben, I said, you know, bro, you got to step up. You got to step up and become a leader. And Ben, you have become a leader in this community. You know? And what's beautiful is that he's, uh, you have brought up a whole bunch of young people to become leaders. Uh, and I honor you today for that, and I'll continue to honor you for that. And your family, your your son, your daughter, you know, uh, and your partner, you know, it's, 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 you see them all the time. I mean, there's nothing ever lighting up, you know? And that's when you really commit yourself in your corazón. Uh, I'm here, and I gotta say this to you, brother, and everybody else. I'm here out of protest. I'm here because out of love, but I really didn't. I, I, I really, this, I think is beautiful. But you know what? They named uh, the Civic Center Auditorium after Bill Graham, who was some rock and roll promoter. They named uh, a bridge after Willie Brown. They named, you know, uh, highways after uh, 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 Highway Patrol. You know, and they named all these big, you know, buildings and freeways and, and streets. You know, and to see how the community had to go through just to get this, and, and had to go to the Board of Supervisors and the Mayor and Park and Rec and the Art, you know, for this, really, they, they should have named, renamed Bernal Heights Hill to Alex Nieto Hill. You know, it's a pecado. You know, when they can name uh, uh, an auditorium after some rock and roll promoter, you know, it's, a, it's that simple. But, you know, I, I had to say that because, you know, I, I just can't do it myself, you know, and I just had to get out there because it's good therapy for me. Uh, <laughs> with that said, you know, one of the things that's so beautiful about that that I, I am blessed with, that I get to be a part of since I was a Chavalito, is the Carnival of San Francisco. And, you know, the fact about it is that it's not just a parade. You know, you want to see a parade, you can go see St. Patty's Day Parade, that just happened. You know? But, you know, it is, it's about heart, soul, spirit, body, and mind. You know? And people work all year long. You know, there's ceremonias like the Danzantes, there's the Santeros, the do ceremonia, there's many different tradiciones that are practiced and today you're going to get a little something special 
uh, from a very beautiful sister, Brenda, that is about not only dancing, but she's about uh, bringing health awareness, revitalizing ourselves, loving ourselves, and transforming ourselves. So let's give it, give her and uh, United Rhythms a, a big round of applause.
invite anyone who's interested in joining our group. We always do different music, different rhythms. We're called United Rhythms SF. We're on YouTube. We're teaching at Jim Jordan High School this year on Saturday, 12.30 to 2.30. And um, thank you for watching us. We really, really appreciate the audience. We really do this for fun. We're a dance fitness group. A couple of us are instructors. We do quinceañeras, boot camp, zumba. So we do a lot. Come join us. We help people who never danced in their life have a good time and have a good spirit. the city, Bruno Heights, that's where my heart is at. So I'm really sad about what happened on our mountain because to me that is sacred ground. So thank you. Fly the versus cops. 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 Si se puede, si se puede, si se puede, si se puede, si se puede. So this is about that time where you can be in carnival. Five years old, seven years old, you can be in carnival. You know, the Mission Cultural Center has classes, dance mission has classes. In fact, local locals house out here. Uh, you can always sign up with local local. There's, uh, this year we have 74 comparsas that are going to be in the parade. It's actually the biggest we've had ever. And one of the things that we really uh, have done as a carnival team is to really encourage people to dance in the parade this year. We cannot allow fear and hate and all this other bullshit that's coming out of that clown's mouth, you know, put us and, and make us hide and, and, and fall asleep. You know, so if you uh, haven't signed up for a class, sign up for a class. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, talk about clowns. Uh, no, me, come here. Is Michael, uh, Michael here? Yeah. Come here, Michael. Uh, and what about Rafi and Gaynor and Sylvia? So I'm going to tell you uh, real quickly, uh, 12 years ago, I got uh, uh, a group of us started going up to Sacramento once a month uh, chasing uh, Schwarzenegger <laughs> because he didn't want to sign the bill to give IDs for uh, immigrants and driver's license. And so once a month, we, you know, we find some ribbon cutting ceremony and we pop up and embarrass him. That grew from a, 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 a car load to van, and then a couple of taquerias landed up, the owners landed up. They loved what we were doing, and they rented buses. And at the height of this movement, we had about 5,000 people showed up to this uh, building where he was going to be at, and we surrounded the whole building and arm locked, and uh, we, we shamed him. You know, it's kind of like, you know how we went after uh, Sir, yeah. Fire and Chief Sir, so we did, a, we did a campaign against Schwarzenegger. And you know what's really interesting is you think about it, fast forward, you know, he landed up, uh, and, and the truth came out, that he was having an affair with a uh, mujer who was Latina from Guatemala. That was his mate. That was living with him. And he got her pregnant, and in fact, they kept it a secret, and the baby was born, and his wife said, uh, when she was going to move out, oh, don't leave. You can live with us. And uh, but eventually, you know, the little chavalito looked just like him, and <laughs> people started wondering, like, what? Right? <laughs> and uh, so it was. It was 
the, the truth came out, right? It was no different than what the white folks who were plantation owners used to do with African American women. They used to abuse them, have sex with them, and there was, you know, there's a lot of babies that were made, you know? But here, you know, Schwarzenegger, really? Right? And so that, that was by the end of 2005. And so we decided to uh, call for a day without immigrant for May 1st of 2006. And that was sparked here in San Francisco because of that movement that was started, you know, in, uh, going after Schwarzenegger. And you know, and then, you know, people in LA, we went down to LA and talked to them. We went to San Diego, we went to Dallas, Texas. We went through the whole Southwest and this big movement just magically happened. And it was like, the, I think one of the most beautiful things I've been able to experience because I really felt Latinos, we were like asleep, you know? And it's like finally, uh, May 1st, 2006, it's like, it was incredible down Market Street, man. Half a million people marching down the street. How many of you were there? Yeah, give it up for those who were there, all right? But if you weren't there, that's all right. We need to give you, because you don't get an opportunity, right? So after, uh, in December of this year, a group of us that were part of the organizing committee uh, 11 years ago got together and said, man, we gotta do this if even more so now because of what's going on. So I invite you all to be part of May 1st, 2017. We are not gonna go to we're not gonna go to school, we're not going to stop, and I want to, my boy is 16 years old, he's on the committee, and let me tell you, he's a badass little motherfucker, man, you know what, I, he is just incredible, uh, how he's become an organizer, my little sister here, Naomi, she's a student at uh, Skyline College, she's the number one who's stepped up, and has become an organizer, and we got Sylvia, we got Rafael, you know what? And there's a whole army of people who've been working. We meet every Sunday uh, up here at 2969. And it's, we got church, May 1st church. Yes. And, and we're organizing. So they're going to pass out uh, some flyers for you to give to your friends, give to your family. Make that the conversation. In, when you have a dinner, at work, at school, at play, become an organizer. That's all you have to do. That's all we're asking today, is for you every day, whoever you talk about. You know, I go, I, I went into a restaurant to go eat pupusas on Sunday, and I started talking, I just got up after I finished eating, and I started talking about Pimeno de Mayo. And you know what, guess what? The majority of the people there knew what I was talking about. They remembered 11 years ago, and then we had a whole conversation, strangers. How we had a whole conversation about what's going on, and that made people feel good. So please, uh, go ahead. And then we got buttons too. So if you want to get a button, button is old school style. It's a sliding scale. Three dollars, two dollars, one dollar. If you got fifty cents, we'll take fifty cents. But you know that's that's. And, and then and then also you know what we uh, uh, this bucket, uh, Ben. Where's Ben? So Ben. Uh, so how much is it going to cost to do this? Estimates are from twenty to forty thousand dollars. Yeah. So uh, today is the first fundraiser, and we have the man. So we're gonna uh, pass the bucket around. I know you already gave, but let me tell you something. If how many drink coffee? Don't be in now. It's all right. This is not AA. <laughs> all right. So if you just give up drinking coffee tomorrow, how much does coffee cost today at Phil's? Five bucks, right? Give up coffee for one day. This is going to kill you no way. Five bucks. 
Give up paying how much it costs to buy a burrito now, man. Ten dollars. Eight dollars, you know? No. Get, a, get, a, get a vegetarian too burrito. Much, too much. Get four dollars today. <laughs> Pass the bucket around. You know what I'm saying? Does everybody give a little bit? There's also the GoFund, right? So if you ain't got no change or no dollars, right? Go go fund, right? Go fund me. Go fund me. I don't know. Go fund me. Go fund me. <laughs> I'm not used to all that shit, you know? Yeah. I just cash, cash, hey, we take cash. <laughs> we take, oh yeah, we take credit cards. You take credit cards? Yeah. Okay. We'll take them and we spend Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll pay for the we'll, we'll credit cards, go fund. So yeah, let, let, take out, come on everybody, pull out your wallet, take out your purse, don't be shy. This is the part where we ask you to, to, to dig deep. You know, this is a movement, and, and it's a movement that, that we need help. Ready? Good. Are we ready? All right. So, enough said with that. May 1st, she's a plan. She's a plan. It's, man, it's my, this is fun for me tonight. This is, you know, I grew up here in the Valle of Mission, and I grew up going to uh, Caesar's Night Palace. I used to sneak in there when it was on uh, Green Street. And I went to St. Peter's Hall, St. Paul's Hall. Uh, I went to the Transfer Club. I went to the Propaganda Club. And there was a band that started back then called Salsa Caliente. And Salsa Caliente is a band that's been around since I was a chavalo. And they're still around. Because of this one individual that just has the love for salsa music. His name is Gary Flores. So give it up for Gary Flores. We're Gary. And that's for Gary. And, and tonight, you, he, he went up and uh, Cookie <laughs> Gonzalez. Where's Cookie? They went and, and they took out some old phone numbers, Googled them, but they found these uh, incredible uh, members that used to play with Salsa Caliente, the majority of them. Uh, Carl Perez is in the house, who's a Divagero for Santana. James, Tito <laughs> Puentes, and played also with Carlos Santana. <laughs> Carlos Ramirez on bass. Yeah. Oscar Sotero on congas and vocals. And then we're going to have, he was in the house like Nanto. Is Dr. Loco in the house? Oh, he's gonna come sit in with you. Where's Dr. Loco? Where's that doctor? <laughs> All right, so let's give it up for Salsa Caliente Reunion. Alex Nieto Jazz Ensemble. Thank <laughs> you. 
Alex Nieto. That's who we're here for today. I knew Alex when he was a junior high school student. And uh, at that time, he lived in Bernal Heights, and he was working at Bernal Heights Community Center. Alex uh, helped the elderly at the seniors program there. When he went to high school, he told me that he wanted to be a probation officer. I was a probation officer for 25 years here at Juvie, where I used to get locked up as a kid, as a matter of fact. Anyways, Alex was a good kid. Uh, when he got to college, I told him, when you get to City College, man, let me know, and I'll get you an internship. Um, Alex got to City College, and all that time, he was working with Ben. When he got to City, he was a community advocate. He worked for you. He wanted to become a probation officer. And uh, I got him an internship at Juvie, where I worked. He was an intern with us. Two weeks after he finished his internship, he was gone. Mm. murdered up here on Bernal Heights. So, the media tried to villainize him and make him look like he had, he had been mentally unstable, that he was a gangbanger, that he, you know, all kinds of negative stuff about him, but none of that was true. Uh, they were following the, the, the mainstream party line from the police. And at the time, I was, I was kind of like caught in the middle because I was a probation officer and at the town hall meeting that we had, about him, um, I spoke out and the chief of police was there and I told everybody, I was a probation officer, he was my intern, he was a good kid, contrary to everything that's in the news, that him being unstable, yada yada, that he pulled that taser out on the cops, that's why they shot him. Make a long story short, I put my career on the line. Shortly after that I retired, but the thing about it was that his story lives on today. That's why we're here today, because Alex Nieto, his mom, his dad, I hope, you know, I mean, you can never get over something like that. But at the same time, we're here to put a memorial so nobody forgets the injustice that happened to one of ours. And so here we are for Alex Nieto. We're going to pay our hearts out. So you guys better come out here and dance your asses. Oh, yeah. Oh, 
Give it up for the horn section. And let me just be straight. These are the two baddest white guys in South Carolina. Right yeah. Yeah.
and we will be playing for a short piece. So everybody, we can pull us up and dance. <laughs> Sister, 
prima, Pugno sta arriva.